Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. I've just done a painting, an attempted ring pour with reds and oranges and pinks, um, but the paint was too thick and it didn't pour out as a ring as I wanted to. So I've got paints left over, which I'll show you in a second from that painting, from that pour. I've just watered them down a little bit. I've taken out the Payne's grey colour and I've added in purple. So just a, a couple of little changes Everything's a bit runnier, a bit watered down. Um, I'm going to attempt to do the same again, um, a ring pour, um, but I'm just hoping it will pour better. So I'll show you the paints. So these are my colours. I've got magenta, uh, cadmium red, iridescent orange, gold, iridescent pink, fluorescent orange, and then purple and white. Um, there isn't that much of these colours left, so I've topped up the white and I've now added the purple. Um, all the paints are the same paints as in my previous painting. Um, they're all mixed 50-50 paint and pouring medium and the pouring medium is uh, two parts PVA glue, one part water. Um, but I have watered them down a little bit to get them all to a same consistency and also just a slightly runnier consistency. So I'm hoping it will just pour a lot better. So I'm going to layer up the cup now. So this is the order I'd like to go with. I'm going to be really daring because I'm putting purple and orange together there and there, pink and gold together, um, fluorescent orange and red together. So really contrasting colours next to each other. It's the purple and the orange that I'm most worried about mixing, um, especially as I've run, run, made the colours a little bit runnier. But I'm just going to be bold with it and just and, and go with it. I've split the purple into two cups and I split the white into the two cups so they're going to appear twice. Um, I'm going to layer up a half pint um, size cup. Um, some of them just still feel too thick. Whoops. Splash water everywhere. I think the longer I leave the paints out the because they're exposed to the air, obviously, they, they thicken up naturally anyway. I'm just ch constantly checking them. I think with my last pour, they were just so thick. I'm just so worried that I just really want to thin them down, but I just, I'm just i now getting a bit scared that I'm going to be thinning them down too much. But it's all an experiment. Every painting is different, every paint consistency is different. It's very difficult to get everything exactly the same or exactly spot on every time. And every painting I do, I learn something. So I learned the last one's too thick. I'm probably gonna learn that this one, the paints are too thin, but I'm sure it will give an interesting result even if the paints are thin. Right, I'm done. That's it. No more watering down. Let's go for it. I'm going to do two layers of paint, so I'm going to aim to pour in about half of what's in the cup each time. cup. Looking quite pretty there. Great, so I'm going to get the canvas down next. Right, I'm going to put down a puddle of paint in the centre again. I've just scraped all the paint off the worktop here. I, I've put down heavy duty cling film over the top and then I'm actually able just to scrape the paint off there. Um, and I've got a nice, actually a really pretty colour here. Um, colour doesn't really matter though. I'm just, I'm going to put some paint down in the centre of this canvas and that's what I'll pour the puddle onto, the cup onto. I just try and reuse as much paint as possible. There's so much paint that goes into these pores. And this paint won't be seen at all. That's a beautiful colour though. It's gorgeous. And it's like, like sparkly as well because it had all the metallics in it. So it's got a nice puddle there. Let's just give it a quick torch. Right, 
Right, let's go for it. Right, that has worked so much better, so much better. In fact, I'm just gonna bring you in for a close-up of this because that's much better. Right, can you see? It's, they're just rings, they're perfect circles. It's wig, wiggled a little bit there, which is where the paint was a bit thicker in there, and it wiggled a little bit around the edge here. But otherwise, what I was trying to get was all these beautiful, beautiful, perfect parallel circles. Um, so much happier with them with the last one it's yeah so far so good and I've managed to get quite a nice center there it looks a bit like a tornado or something it gives it a bit of depth um, great much happier much more excited about this one um, so let's um, tilt this out right I've just mixed up some leftover paints um, and I've just watered them down so I'm just going to pour this around the edge so the paint's got something to slide over when I tilt it out. keep tilting I might wreck it but I'm not liking this part here these colors have all merged they haven't stayed separate but I'm happy with that that looks nice I just I think this bit's just a bit dull so I'm gonna just tilt try and tilt off some of this corner here it's the fluorescent yellow I'm not liking the fluorescent orange sorry which I'm surprised about because I do normally like the fluorescent orange different it's opened up around here I'll show you in a second the pink has come through a lot more 
So the colours have not kept their lines well at all. I wonder if it's not necessarily the paint consistency, but all the air bubbles and all the cells and they've caused it all to merge. It, regardless, I actually think it looks really sweet. It looks really nice. It's, it's, there's a lovely gold line. Right, less talking. Let me bring you in to have a look. So it looks really orange in this light. It's not, it's actually red. Um, you can see it's really unusual. So you can see all the lines here, but all the lines, they've kind of all blurred into each other. They're all quite jagged. And you can just see the millions, literally millions of cells and um, little air bubbles that have popped. I'd be really interested to do this exact painting again with these exact colours, but having let the colours settle. So they'd be exactly the same, but without the air bubbles. Um, I really like the centre. It's a really nice um, circular pattern there. And then this is the pinky section that really opened up when I tilted off the fluorescent orange. That opened up. Look at that cute corner. So what I need to do is um, go and finish my corners. So I'll do that in a second. And then I just need to take a stick along the bottom and just, I can't actually see any drips there, but remove any drips there. Um, and then let this dry. Ah, that's, I'll just show you that, the gold line. That's the gold line. I really like that through the centre. Um, I think the other really important thing to remember is it doesn't have to be symmetrical. The swirly bit in the middle, it, it, the swirly bit doesn't have to be in the middle. Um, and I'm actually deliberately leaving it a bit off centre because I think the composition's better that way. Um, great, so I'll be back once it's dried. So the painting is now dry. It actually dried really quickly. Um, I think that was because the paints were a bit thinner, a bit more, a bit runnier. It just dried much quicker. Um, first thing I really notice is the, the sense of depth and distance you get. So that central section, I, I think, really looks like it, it um, um, comes out towards you. Um, so let's go in for a close up. I'm really happy with that lovely, lovely shimmery gold line there. Um, I don't know if you can see it shimmering in the sun there yeah you can a little bit and actually around each of those curves you can see the gold shimmering and then the amazing gold bar up in this top corner um, the lines are just beautiful yeah you can really see the shimmer there actually the gold white and purple next to each other what I really like about this painting and it was not intentional is the, the sort of the design between the lines so the lines aren't straight you can see that they've all got a lovely um, wiggle to them um, and a lot of the colors have mixed I think because it again it because it was a little bit runnier but I really like that I think it's so pretty um, so yeah the overall effect of this painting I really like I really like the composition um, it's not symmetrical and I really like that I like the, the shimmer and I just like the depth the sense of distance you get from with the central bit coming out towards you great so thank you very very much for watching my video um, please subscribe to my channel um, please hit the notification bell um, and I will see you again soon bye